In this video, I'll teach you how to crimp our J45 connector. So, keep watching. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Claudemir Martins. In this video, I'll teach you how to crimp our J45 connector in a network cable. But before you continue, just make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. First, I'm going to show how the connector must be done and later how to do it. So make sure you watch the video up to the end. Here's a network cable. It's a patch cord. The idea is to crimp this side the same way I crimp this side. Let's take a look at the details here in the connector. It's a RJ45. Inside here, I'm going to have the same sequence of wires that I have the other side. Here's the wire. I have different colors just like the orange one, the blue one, and other colors. I'm going to use the connector to crimp them down. And this part of the cable cover, I'm going to crimp in this part of the connector so it can hold it down. And here I have a sleeve that's going to be used to protect the connector RJ45. So here I have the crimping tool, also a cutter, a sleeve, and a connector. You can find connector and sleeve in different stores. So the idea is to use a UTP cable. I'm using a Cat5e. You just need to use the sleeve here in the cable. You need to strip it down. You can use a tool like this or like this one. So just strip it down here and then you're going to use the connectors here to crimp in the wires using the tool. So the idea is to have the cable just like this. It's inside the connector. We can see here and in this part it's crimped into the wires. It's also important to make sure that the cable cover is crimped here in this part of the connector. pretty easy, you just need to use a tool like this, it's a crimping tool, you insert it here and just crimp it. Just make sure everything is correct, the cover is inside of, of the connector and everything is corrected, crimp it in place. So I just insert this sleeve in the cable, then I measure like this. To strip it out using a scissor or a cutter or something. Just be careful not to cut the cable. You do not bend the cable. Here we go with the wires. And now I have to separate the wires and align them in the correct position, meaning the correct sequence, just the way you see in the screen. So they are solid colors, and some of them has some stripes. So you just need to look at the picture and organize them the way it is. I have here blue, solid blue. Also blue with stripes. The first time you do this, it's a little bit difficult, but you get used to do it like pretty fast every time you do, okay? So just organize them in sequence here. Use your nails to make it better. Way. It's not that hard, guys. You just need a little bit of patience. And then you need to just cut them straight. Organize them again. A little bit more. With your nails. Align them. Make sure they're aligned. Just get your connector. Insert them the way and push up to the end of the connector. Make sure you do this right and then you just crimp them. You can do this twice to make sure it's good. And now you have your connector. Okay? You can just use your sleeve to protect the connector and it's done. 
Well, that's all for today. Now you know how to make your J35 connector. And if you want to learn more, just visit my blog. I have the link here in the description. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up and leave your comments. See you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.